Hey, what's going on guys? My name is James, and today I want to talk about a piece of tech that I've been working on for about the past, I guess, two years, technically, year and a half. Um, this was started out as a school project, actually. Uh, last year, I had to make, around, it was about Christmas time, uh, I had to make a project based around light. So, essentially what I created here is a 200 LED basically a display board. It's almost like an LCD or LED display, like a TV. Um, and I built this as a school project and the it had a dual purpose essentially. The first was obviously for the grade, but then the second purpose was I was actually installing it in a school that was interested in kind of technology and stuff. So what I did was uh, I programmed it so that they could go online and enter in some messages like, you know, welcome to school or like welcome back from break or something like that. And then it would also show stuff like date, time, and the weather outside and everything. It would scroll across, you know, um, it was mounted horizontally, not vertically. And uh, essentially all the text would scroll across and everything. And it worked for about a year until you can kind of see that there's a bulb missing down here. Essentially, there was one of these bulbs burnt out, and that led to a lot of problems as they work, kind of like Christmas lights, where when one burns out, then the, all the basically bulbs after that don't work. So since it starts from the bottom left down there and goes to the top right, the fact that that bulb right there had burnt out meant that this entire side of the board over here didn't work. So I took it down. And then I had it in my basement for about, I don't know, two months, and then I finally took it out about last week. I've been talking about it on Twitter a little bit, and essentially what I've done now is I've made it into a video light. So it's not perfect. You can kind of see in the video that some of the colors are a little bit tinted, and then there's this one LED that's starting to fail up here, too. You can see it's, like, yellowish. Um, I'm going to replace that, and it's no problem, but... uh. So, for the most part, they're all pretty close. They are, like I said, ever so slightly different colors, but for the most part, they're um, pretty accurate in color. And then also what I've done, as this is powered through Arduino, is if we come around here to the computer, let's see, so I've got this serial monitor open here. If you go on the number pad, or just actually any number, and you uh, type in a number one through three, let me put one here. Let's see, you'll notice that these are now more of a sunlight, like yellow color. There's a lot more, you know, yellow to it. So I have four different profiles and I can actually program in even more. Um, so let's see here, I'll keep the camera on it while I hit the next number. Let's see number two. So now it turns to more of a, you know, blue sky, bright daylight. And then if I go all the way up to number four, Four gets almost like, you know, this is, would be like almost a little bit of a cloudy blue sky, essentially. So there's a bunch of different profiles that you can kind of program onto this. So uh, I'm using it more as a key light. I'm not going to use it as a full kind of spotlight kind of thing, just because these are diffused LEDs. They're not as bright as something like a spotlight, but for, you know, adding a little bit of accent or an interesting background piece. This is definitely probably one of my favorite pieces of tech that I use in my videos now. So that's another thing. You might hear that I'm a little bit sick, so that's why I haven't really been releasing videos. Also down here, um, the monitor that I was using to make videos with so I could actually see the output of my videos as I was making them. Recently, the battery for it just stopped charging. This light over here should be red while well, this is charging, but doesn't charge anymore, so I can't use the monitor. Makes videos a lot harder to make, which is why I'm doing this kind of impromptu video, just to kind of show you guys what's going on and what I've been working on. So, in the meantime, while I'm fixing a, or finding a solution for that monitor, this has kind of been what I've created. Just wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys have any questions or want to see a more in-depth, like a code overview or kind of, you know, how the inner workings work, like, as you can see, it's a little bit uh, complicated. There's, you know, the power down here in the Arduino and everything. Um, you know, everything is pretty, pretty self-explanatory, but if you guys did want a video, I'd be happy to do something on it because uh, I kind of know a thing or two about this as I've been, you know, working with it for so long, so... Um, and then one other thing that I'm actually planning on doing in the future is using these, let's see here, 
kind of using these XB modules that I have lying around and maybe the um, Nano to create a wireless controller for it so that you could change stuff like color balance and brightness on the fly. Um, just makes it a little bit easier than having to plug it into a computer every time you want to change the color or the brightness. So one thing I might do in the future, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys will definitely be seeing this in a lot more videos. Um, I'm going to actually program some sequences to have running in the background of like, you know, uh, B-roll shots or something like that, like a rainbow effect or something like that. Um, there are some examples of that on my Twitter. If you guys go check that out, I'll leave a link in the description to uh, some of those videos I made where I was doing some of that rainbow testing and stuff just when I finally got it working again. So um, yeah, definitely check those out. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll be making videos right as I get another battery for this camera. Um, and yeah, I'll let you guys know what else is going on. So uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.